Hi, Mitch Bailey here. We're gonna check the flame sensor on this real quick so you can see how to check a flame sensor using your multimeter. Let's test, we're gonna test this flame sensor in this uh, G40 furnace real quick. The flame sensor is the, the steel rod that hangs down in front of the burner there. What we're first gonna do is we're gonna disconnect our uh, wire from it and we're gonna wire our meter, our multimeter in series. So we're gonna put the black wire on here and take the red wire and we're gonna connect it up in series to the top of the, ter uh, the terminal for the, uh, 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 for the uh, flame sensor. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our uh, meter to microamps. Microamps is, uh, the, this setting right here is microamps. It's a U symbol, which is a Greek for micro, and then the A for the amps. And then once it's set in there, now we're gonna run it into a cycle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the heat on real quick. This will go through a purge cycle, the fan will come on, run for a few seconds to purge any gases in here, and then it's gonna heat up the hot surface igniter. The burners will light directly off of the hot surface igniter, this gas valve will open up, and then it will, uh, the flame will shoot across, and if there was more burners, once it shoots all the way across, it, the, hot, the uh, flame sensor is on the last burner, it will take that uh, and sense the flame and continue to leave the gas valve open. If it doesn't sense flame, it'll stop. So it's heating up right now. We're currently not reading any, anything right now. It's right here at the bottom. It's where our micro amps are. And uh, what we're really shooting for, you want to see above two if we can on this flame sensor. Flame sensor is sensing 3.5 micro amps. So this flame sensor is good. Really don't need to clean it. You could. Um, and you just clean it with some steel wool. Everything's working good. And to check it to make sure that, that it is functioning like it's supposed to, I'm just gonna disconnect one of the, and it shuts down. If I connect it back up, it'll go right back through the cycle again. If it shuts down, if it does sense a flame three times, it'll shut down, uh, go into what, either a hard lockout or a soft lockout, depending on the furnace. Soft lockout, you reset the thermostat. A hard lockout, you're gonna reset, uh, you have to turn the breaker off, or kill the power to the unit, and then reset it and it should light right back up. Um, and then sense the flame. Again, this one, you really didn't need to clean it, but if you do, you're gonna clean it with some steel wool. Do not use sandpaper or emery cloth. It leaves too, too big of grooves in there and it'll get dirty too quickly. Yeah, we're, we're at uh, 3.5. This, this flame sensor is doing good. That's how you check a flame sensor uh, to make sure that it's actually working. All right, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.